So imagine being in your home and waiting uh, for the next warplane to come by to destroy your home and your life and your family. This is what life has been like in opposition-held Syria for the past nine years. Airstrikes have been the single largest cause of death in Syria since 2013. They've left more than 80,000 people, um, civilians, killed from airstrikes, and more than two and a half injured. At Hala Systems, we felt the need to respond to this with a technology solution. And that's what we did in 2016. We partnered with the White Helmets to launch an early warning system for airstrikes called Sentry. Now imagine um, that instead of sitting in your home and waiting in constant fear, you would have seven to 10 minutes of warning. And this is exactly what Sentry does. Sentry is an early warning system for airstrikes that provides an average of seven to 10 minutes of warning. The system uh, consists of several key components, the first of which is sensing. This refers to the data gathering piece. Um, it gathers information from the remote actuators that we've developed, um, from trusted human observers that use a mobile app, and from open media, which we use, uh, which we scrape with machine learning algorithms. We then preserve the data collected using a trusted ledger to ensure that it uh, hasn't been tempered with. And we, then we validate and analyze the information within seconds and share it with global stakeholders and with civilians. The system has had a huge impact so far, especially in Syria. Uh, we have estimated a reach of 2.3 million um, and a reduction in fatalities by 20 to 30 percent. Uh, we've collected over 180,000 observations. We have uh, the most clear picture of the air war in Syria outside of a classified environment. And uh, we have provided uh, war crime evidence to over, for over 100 um, war crime incidents in Syria. We are currently exploring new products. We, have, we already have an existing suite of products that are connected to the overall system. And uh, we are investing more in our remote sensing platform and our machine learning capabilities. Uh, we've also expanded geographically. We've piloted in Yemen and are exploring Libya. And we've made great partnerships, uh, especially locally, in the past few years. Uh, this has led to a lot of great traction for us. We've gained two million in private investments, especially um, from Mark Cuban, which was one of our um, most proud moments. And uh, we've signed about 14 uh, contracts and agreements with uh, several government donors, uh, worth totaling 10 million. We've gotten a lot of media coverage and have participated in accelerator programs. Uh, in terms of what we're looking for next, uh, we're definitely looking to scale beyond uh, Syria and Yemen. The system, as you um, learned earlier, is pretty complex, and the point is that it's very scalable and adaptable. Uh, different bits of it can be um, modified to collect different types of information. For example, the acoustic sensors can be modified to uh, collect uh, missile and car bombs and different types of you know, attacks or explosions that make sound, essentially. So if you want to talk to me more about scaling, Sentry, or if you think it has relevance in other um, areas, please reach out to me afterwards. Thank you.